what is dependency inversion principle the definition is the dependency inversion principle uh, dip states that a high level class must not be depend upon a lower level class okay so what is high level what is lower level uh, suppose we have a data access layer class that is responsible for adding a customer to the database okay and however instead of depending on an abstraction like an ilogger interface it directly creates a uh, file logger object and call its method log method to write a log message like this here data access layer is the high level class and file logger is the lower level class and you can see data access layer class is tightly coupled with the file logger class and is depend on it right but as per the definition high level high level class must not be dependent on the lower level class therefore this implementation violates the dependency inversion principle okay the disadvantage of this is if tomorrow you want to replace this logging technique or behavior in your own application for example uh, from file logging to database logging you want okay you want to modify inside the data access layer here is the f uh, file logger log method okay the method is same but you have to uh, use a new class now the, now the question so it will be a tight coupling and you have to replace like here we have only one data access layer class but there can be multiple classes like this and if you want to replace then you want to replace all over this file logger with this new database logger okay now to resolve that we have that dependency inversion principle and if you already know dependency injection then you remember how to inject the dependency class from the constructor right so dependency injection is a design pattern to implement dependency inversion principle okay it's a one of the way to implement dependency inversion principle now to implement first we have to create an ilogger interface that declares just declare the log method as well as a file logger class that implements the ilogger interface and provides in its own implementation of the log method here inside now in the data access layer inject ilogger object as a constructor parameter and store it in a private field like this then when the add customer method is called it uses the ilogger object to log a message instead of creating this file lo file logger object directly right now high level this data access layer is high level right is not dependent on low level file logger class uh, as we are you can see we are not using anywhere file logger inside this data access layer here the benefit is again tomorrow if you want to replace this file logger with the database logger then you can easily do it just just then add a new class database logger inherit the class from the i logger implement the log method as per the new requirement and remove this file logger class and then automatically your i logger which you injected in the data access layer constructor will start pointing to the database logger method okay because file logger is gone now i logger is referring to database logger now no need to change any code inside this data access layer or inside any other class which is using the uh, i logger okay because now you are not uh, coding for the classes you are coding for the interfaces that's it great now now i think you know dependency inversion principle right